textile artist, teacher and writer. And now I'm going to show you how to use up your old foils that you think might be ready for the bin to give you a mixed two or three tone effect there depending on how many sheets of old foils you decide to use. On this piece here I've mixed my copper and my gold foils to give a nice soft diffuse effect there. I'm going to work with my heart shape here. I've got a piece of freezer paper that I'm going to use as a stencil eventually here. Now the freezer paper has got a shiny side, it's got a matte side and I'm going to quickly draw my design onto the matte side of my freezer paper. I'm going to cut that out with a pair of scissors to give myself a stencil here. I'm going to iron that onto the fabric. I'm making sure that the shiny side is down onto the fabric. I'm just going to take a sheet of baking parchment here just to protect my work and iron that on with a nice hot iron. This is cotton fabric underneath so the iron is set at a cotton setting. I'm going to work with pressure sensitive glue. Now there's a number of different makes on the market. I'm going to work with this one today and I've already put some of it onto this silicon sheet here. So I've just pushed out a small amount onto the silicon sheet. I'm going to take a stencil brush and I'm going to brush very gently in all the way around from the edge of the stencil onto my fabric. Just give a very light effect, don't go too heavily with this at all, we're wanting a nice diffuse effect with the finished design here. And that should be more than enough. I'm going to put that to one side, that has got to dry, and there might be a slight milkiness to that, but we want it to be absolutely dry, so I'd leave that for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Right. Now this is perfectly dry, ready for action. Put it back onto your board. I'm going to take some of my old sheets of foil. So I'm working with a sheet of gold here that's got lots of dots out of it and a sheet of copper that has got lots of squiggles taken out of it. Looks as if it's ready for the bin but there's plenty money's worth left on these old sheets. I would recommend peeling the freezer paper template off first of all. And if I hold this up, you should just be able to see the outline of the heart there. It might be a little difficult to see, but it is there. Place your foil on top, and with a spoon, remember this is pressure sensitive glue, I'm just going to rub there. I'm going to peel it off, I'm going to rub on the other side. Now you can see that we've not got a very avert effect there with the gold which is with the copper which is what I'm wanting. Place the gold on top and rub again and we should find when we peel this off that the two colours are mixed there very nicely on your piece of work. You may want to go back in and just give it another rub if you feel that some of the areas have been missing. And that is the finished effect there. You can use this same effect using your old foils and stippling with the glue to achieve this two or three tone effect in this little leaf sample here. And another sample here. A whole lot of leaves done in a variety of different methods, but this particular one here has been done using a stencil, using that stippling technique with that pressure sensitive glue, and using some sheets of foil that look as if they're ready for the bin. So I've used gold and copper, all sheets of foil here, to give that nice soft airbrushed look to that particular leaf there. Another sample, working with that pressure sensitive glue again, but rather than using a stencil, I've put some of the glue into a little pot, I've taken my artist brush, a nice soft, nice stiff brush like this, dipped it into the pot and simply painted with the glue to give that brush stroke effect there. I've allowed it to dry, I've gone in with a couple of different colours to create the two-tone calligraphy in this piece.